yeah, how do you like what you're doing? Is it building in a way that you're enjoying? I mean, I don't know what's going on, uh, but it, it's getting there. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Made Up with Danny Volk. I'm your host, and we're in the studio of Scott Olniak. Thanks so much for having us. My pleasure. It's beautiful in here. This used to be a gallery space, you say? Yes. This was a alternative gallery space called, uh, the gallery was called Suitable, and it was open from 1999 to 2004. And uh, yeah, it was a garage gallery. And now and it's, it's drywalled. And um, it's warm. Was it, is it warm all winter? Um, you know, when it was a gallery, it was unheated and unair oh. conditioned, but there oh was God. there was drywall <laughs> um, and a gray floor. But uh, now it's my studio, and so you, I wanted a little heat you had to cushion so. it up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but right. for regular art patrons, you're like you have to deal with the weather. Danny, are you ready to be made up? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on now? Well, I just. Um, put up a show at Valerie Carberry Gallery that opened last Friday. So at the moment I have a couple drawings and a couple of uh, these plaster tablet paintings, um, but uh, I just put all of this recent work up at the gallery. So they are, I think, essentially paintings, but they're very sculptural. Okay. They're kind of hybrids between, uh, I almost think of them as sculptures of paintings, but there's also a real strong drawing component because of the mark making is, is uh, you know, made the, the, in, similarly to the way that I make my drawings. I was making these cast uh, plaster sculptures that were, that came, f that were made from found objects. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I was interested in this idea, this kind of, kind of relationship of comedy and craft, um, thinking about locating objects out in the world that were really downtrodden and completely worthless like a chunk of concrete that had broken off of a curb or you know um or whatever it may be a piece, broken off piece of wood you know something that was like real right on the cusp of complete uh you know destruction and you know <laughs> being lost so but then i would put all of this labor and kind of like craft and developing this kind of technique for how to make them as close as possible to the found thing the so the kind of simulacra goal Mm -hmm. And then, but then I, I basically lost interest or my interest shifted away from trying to copy the found thing and, and moved more towards just thinking about the materials and the colors. Mm -hmm. So just kind of staining plaster and scratching away and like layering the material and this kind of stratified, almost like, um, so it was kind of like making a, a jewel like thing and sort of creating almost like this geode like interior uh, mm -hmm. within a kind of solid block of plaster. Um, and so, so basically the, the focus shifted from creating this object to just creating a surface. I see. So that's sort of like the history of where this, this new series came from. And, and you also do video work, right? I do. Um, I'm very multidisciplinary mm -hmm. and I, I guess I would, uh, say that I'm doing a lot less video than I used to do. And you also, you curate sort of video anthologies. Is that right? I've, I, I do. Something. So that was, that's a continuation of the, the uh, suitable gallery. Oh, okay. And so after, at a certain point in like 2000, early 2005, when we closed the gallery and, and I had really mixed feelings about st closing the gallery because it was this great experience and I really love working with other artists and you know, facilitating projects. It's like really satisfying. Um, but at a certain point it was, there was just, again, not enough time, not enough energy to like do justice to, for the artist's shows that I was sure. putting together. So I, you know, stopped doing that. But, um, so then this new project is called Suitable Video. And that's a, a very sort of like on and off kind of thing. But I've put together a number of DVDs and, uh, compilations and just screening programs and, um, so that's a way that I can kind of fulfill some of the curatorial impulses um, without a space. Um, what What are you looking at for comedy? I've never really been very studious about the way that I approach comedy, and it's really been just kind of thinking about whatever I find funny. Sure. So one of the first videos that I ever made was uh, called Fruit Ghost, and I was um, chopping up produce in my studio. 
and as each piece of fruit or vegetable was cut into with the big knife, a little ghost version of that <laughs> banana or whatever would kind of rise up. And that just came straight out of like my childhood cartoon viewing experience of, you mm-hmm. know, like things die right. and then immediately the ghost <laughs> rises mm-hmm. and uh, ascends. So one of the things that is um, that I'm thinking about a lot about my work that relates a lot to the way that I'm applying this makeup mm-hmm. is that uh, my technique is terrible. Like I, I don't know how to do anything right. Okay. I just sort of figure out <laughs> how to use stuff that it, that it have, I've you know that I have around. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, like right now I'm putting on this lip stuff outside of your lips, and <laughs> which is you know maybe gonna be really annoying later for you, but. Um, <laughs> I have a date after this. Do you? I, I think I know that there's an eye on my forehead. That's I know true. that much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that seems like a logical, you know, early step in this whole process. I mean, it's still there though. I mean, you've yeah. I think that I think I could stop any time. Oh, you will just keep going. I probably will, I saying. could, but I think it's good. I think okay. that it's really uh, terrifying. Do you have a title or anything for it? No, I don't. Danny Volk. So, oh, are you saying you, <laughs> I inspired this? <laughs> What's your face? All right. Uh, we want to thank Scott for letting us in his studio. Thank you. And for this beautiful makeup job, I love it. It, it Like I said, it's like a painting. I'm glad you like it. It was fun to do. Yeah. Does it remind you of the work that's at Valerie Carberry at all? I mean, yeah, a little bit, but uh, without the ability to erase away... <laughs> Oh yeah, the layering is not as possible with um, with a face. Well, that but, would be interesting. Put yeah. plaster on my face, and then, or you could paint, then put the plaster, and then start taking it yeah. off. Yeah, right? or maybe for your for a face, I would use like oatmeal. I think. Ooh, yeah. that would be have beauty benefits. Because when I was actually when I was a kid, I had a book called Movie Makeup Monsters, and it had uh, all these instructions on how to make really terrifying monster faces with household products. Wow, and dried oatmeal was really fantastic. Well, I think that sounds like a good direction for your practice to go. All right. Oatmeal makeup faces. <laughs> this has been Made Up with Danny Volk. We'll see you next time. Yeah.